or seating bowl um, is the capacity of 33,000 uh, spectators. Everybody has phenomenal sight lines. We have optimal sight lines in the seating bowl. There's no unobstructed views in the entire seating bowl. And, you know, it's just one of the things that HKS is going to make sure that we do. We would never put any seat in a new venue that had an obstructed view. So everybody's going to have um, optimal sight lines and great views to whatever's happening on the field or, or whatever the other the event is for that day. I think there's uh, several big differences. Um, first of all, just ease of access through the venue is it, it, a huge one. Um, we've all gone up the ramps at Mosaic and sort of worked our way to the seats. I think you'll find that in this design, the flow throughout the whole venue, no matter where your seat is, is a much smoother process. You'll have more room, you'll have uh, easier access to your seats, and it'll just be a much more comfortable progression through the building. That's a big thing. Also, all the seats, we've got um, amenities, whether that's washrooms, whether that's concessions, whether that's guest services and those type of things associated with all of the seats will be lined in the concourse with enough room to you know, not only have people flow through the building, but also get to some of those essential spaces that um, they need to get to. And I think you'll find that the quantities will be dramatically different than what everybody's used to at Mosaic Stadium, which is always a big thing. Um, when you're doing a new venue. A lot of times you don't see uh, this kind of space associated with uh, the general admission fans and, and spectators. So that's one of the neat things I think about this project, and very unique. Um, and what it is, is it's a, it's a great lounge that's located right off of the main concourse, uh, directly behind the seats of the general admission fans. And they'll be able to go from their seats into the lounge and enjoy all the amenities, the food and beverage, and, and uh, washrooms and those type of things that are inside the lounge. It'll be a great space to hang out in, whether it's cold or not cold. Um, you'll be able to have a great time in there. And it's just an added feature for all the great patrons. South End Zone is actually a very important piece to the whole design. Um, we have probably the, one of the most flexible spaces in the seating pool. So uh, if you look at the, at the south end zone, so the first thing you're going to notice is a 15 meter by 27 meter uh, video board. So that's going to be a very prominent uh, feature that all patrons will be able to, to see um, and, and show all the great things we all expect to see on, on the video board. In front of that, we actually have a very flexible space that can be used for a whole bunch of things. Uh, if you look at one end of the spectrum, if there's gray cup, we may fill that whole thing up with seating and sort of mold that into the seating bowl. It'll look like it was there day one, and uh, it'll you know increase the capacity to 40,000 patrons for, for gray cup. We have the ability in that same area to have maybe standing room only areas where you may have a couple thousand people who buy a standing room only ticket and they come in and they use that space and we can provide food and beverage and things like that but that space will be an incredible place to watch uh, the game or a concert or whatever's happening that day. And then we also have uh, the ability to come in and we can put more permanent seating in there. So let's say it's playoff game, let's say it's a big uh, uh, regular season game where we need to increase the capacity, then we'll, we can go in there and make that space a more permanent looking uh, seating environment and do that for that week. So the exciting thing is it's very flexible. There's a lot of options and I think it's just going to be an iconic uh, place that everybody in the bowl is going to look at and want to be at and, and 